with hands trembling, so bad he could barely hold his Bible. On July 7, 1937, Pastor J. L. Tucker delivered the very first radio broadcast of The Quiet Hour. Little could he imagine then that today, 75 years later, Quiet Hour Ministries would be an international evangelism organization that has reached more than 135 countries. Our beginning was almost by chance, except in God's eyes. In 1937, J.L. Tucker was offered leftover airtime on radio station KEX in Portland, Oregon. J.L. Tucker was a very interesting man. He was a very compassionate and caring gentleman. He was shy, even though he was in the public a lot. The Seventh-day Adventist pastor agreed to present a live devotional radio program. He knew that the word needed to get out to people that Jesus loved them and wanted them to be in the kingdom and that was a good way to do it. So it was that on Wednesday, July 7, The Quiet Hour was born. We bring you The Quiet Hour, conducted, sponsored, and paid for by Evangelist J.L. Tucker. God abundantly blessed the young ministry. Soon the broadcast grew from three times a week to daily, then twice daily. In 1943, Pastor Tucker accepted a call to minister in the Bay Area of California and he took his successful radio outreach with him. The ministry would soon be a pioneering presence on a new medium, television. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. In 1949, the very first Quiet Hour television program was broadcast live on station KGO in San Francisco, California. Greetings, everyone. It's your Quiet Hour family coming by for a half hour of good things. The Quiet Hour program is dedicated to building faith. My granddad was a pioneer. He was not only a visionary, he was a man of great faith. God can take any vessel and make of them what he wants them to be. In 1954, the ministry moved to Berrien Springs, Michigan where Pastor Tucker had accepted a call to be senior pastor at Pioneer Memorial Church. It was in Michigan that Quiet Hour Ministries was formally incorporated and began to undertake a nationwide expansion of the Quiet Hour radio broadcasts. These critical steps laid the groundwork for a rapid expansion that was right around the corner. We love the Lord Jesus. Are we telling others about that love? And I, I want to encourage every one of you in my heart that we do something every day regarding the finishing of the work of God. 